Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing additional tips and tricks to making your Google site better. So of course, if you'd like to know more, then stay tuned. All right, so my first tip is not specific just to Google sites, but to creating websites in general. The first and most important thing you wanna do before going forward with your site is to take a full screen shot i do this all the time i have to kind of do it so that i can look at the layout see like um if i don't like something if something's wrong like see if the flow is exactly what i want like if there's something i want to change but i do this not only for the full screen um view but i also do it for the mobile view now i am using uh go full page which is a chrome extension and you can definitely go ahead and check it out it's cheap if you want to buy it uh, but it's also free and it works great for the free version as well i just have the pro version because you know, professional. <laughs> my next tip is to bring in additional assets. Now I did discuss this in, in my original tips and tricks that you've probably never heard of for Google sites, but this one in particular has to do with creating some form of separation, even if you don't wanna have that separation. And what I mean by this is I have this square here, this um, orange color, like rustic brown color or whatever, and then this green. Inside of the site, right here across the top i have created this division or level of separation if you're looking at the full screen it's also the same nothing's changed why is that well it's very simple this square is 1920 by 1920 and i'm using it as a background image when i brought it into my google site as you can see here in a section as a background image it fit perfectly right across the center of this diamond icon that I have right here. And because the spacing is automatic, I didn't have to do anything. I like this color scheme that I'm working with. Um, I started with the Therapist one, which I imported using the import button here because I have lots of Google sites. So under the theme options, if I didn't wanna make a change just yet to this, duplicate the theme. Duplicate the theme. I suppose that is my next tip. Duplicate the theme. Um, you can change the name, whatever you want it to be, but duplicate the theme and then now you want to make the color changes. This is where you want to make maybe make sections different colors and um, go in and, and add additional things like whatever the case may be, whatever floats your boat, you know, just I really like that red, by the way. <laughs> that red is jumping. I might have to do something with that red. Um <laughs> I'm so special, please, please forgive me. I'm like, man, that red is really pretty. Um, but anywho, yeah, that is pretty. <laughs> so just make sure you check out the themes panel and get really comfortable with it. Make copies of your themes. You can only have up to five themes. So let me just go ahead and remove this one um, because it's not one I'm gonna use. And then once you remove a theme, it might seem surprising like, oh, what happened? All my changes went away. No, your changes did not go away. Just go ahead and click back on the theme that you already created, but don't delete the theme that you are using for your site. All right, so my next tip should be really simple. Uh, most people should be familiar with this tip, and that is bringing in external embed code, HTML, whatever you want to call it. It has a different name on different website platforms, but it basically means how you are sharing information on your site from an external source. These are buttons. These are buttons that I created um, and I just used uh, W3School style buttons and just brought them into my Google sites because I wanted the square look for this page and I did not want the rounded corners. So I wanted the square look and I also wanted it to just, you know, vibe a little bit different when you hover over them or, or something to that effect. Actually, let me show you what it looks like. So when you hover over it, it turns gray. Um, that's what I have it set to right now, which I can change. And then there's a few that if you don't like hover over them, they'll change to nothing. But anywho, um, I just really didn't like the Google site buttons. So I brought my own in. Yes, this is something you can do if you want to. But man, is it time consuming if you are someone that has multiple pages. It is something that's going to take you a while um, to create now. 
the only reason it's going to take you a while to create is because you have to copy the link in which the page is linking out to, which means your website, you have to go live <laughs> in order for it to work. Yep, I know it sucks. It just it really does. But that is the only way to get these external kind of buttons to work. Like right now, they're not going to work. They're not going to click anywhere because I haven't linked them to anything. I linked them to a hashtag. <laughs> so that's why those don't go anywhere. Same here. Nowhere. So just keep that in mind. You can bring in external information, but you want it's going to take you a while to get it done. But, you know, if it it makes your Google site looks better, then I always say just go for it. All right, so my last tip, and this one will be short, is to play around with your layout. Now, I know that you guys noticed here in my Google site that I am using um, a different size image on these two. This was not intentional. What ended up happening was I had three images that utilized the regular, 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 <laughs> regular old image, three image squares here. But I noticed that it kept leaving a little bit off on each side um, and wanted to have this one just bigger. But I didn't want it to be bigger in the sense that it was just going to be big. So I elongated it and I said, you know what? This is a look. This is a vibe I can get with. So <laughs> that's actually how I ended up with this. So I do recommend just playing around with your Google site layout. Side note, these are images um, that have green backgrounds already. And I'll show you what that means. I brought them in just in Canva. Um, and then I set the background to green so that I'm able to make changes to them if I want to. Like if I later on, I don't want to have the green and I want to, you know, use the orange color background, then I can do that too. All right, so I do hope this video, while short, was helpful. Uh, I know that I really didn't go over too many things in details. Remember, it is just a tips and tricks video. I try not to make these ones be so long-winded. But if you do have any questions about anything you see on this page, just leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to walk you through how I uh, got it this way. Again, these buttons are W3 School buttons, which means they're HTML buttons, so I'll just leave a link to this page on W3 schools and all you'll do here is click on try it yourself if you want this style of button and anywhere that you see there's a hashtag is where you would actually put the link for your uh, <laughs> for your Google site the page that you wanted to go to um, and you can definitely take all of this and you'll see delete just there you go now I remove that one row and maybe you just don't want these two or something like that. Like it's, it's totally your choice on what you, what button option you want to have, how you want it to look. So I'll leave a link to this down below. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, laters.